The ongoing labor negotiations as well as disputes between the Canadian men's and women's national team and Canada soccer uh, have also come to a head this week with the players jointly releasing a statement calling into question Canada soccer's partnership with Canada soccer business and they've also called upon Sport Canada to launch an investigation into the governance of Canada soccer. So that has prompted both Canada soccer and Canada soccer business to release their own statement. And this is what CSA had to say. On March 27, 2018, there was a board meeting specifically to discuss the approval of the CSB agreement. The board members were in receipt of the agreement prior to the meeting for their review. The motion to approve the CSB representation agreement as circulated with the amendments as discussed was carried. It was passed. CSB then issued their own statement saying CSB is willing to give a presentation to Canada's men's national team as it did with the women's leadership group on June 24th and is happy to sit down with any of the players on the national teams to talk about the benefits CSB has provided to Canada's soccer ecosystem. So learning right now, I believe for the first time that the CSB has in fact met with the women. We're hearing the holdup on meeting with the men from what we understand is the men have yet to have representation. So they want to be able to meet with the men and proper representation. But to call upon the, the governing body of sport in, the, in Canada, that's a big deal. That is really going to the top. Why do you think that the teams, both the men and women, felt they needed to go right there? Why is this a big deal? Yeah, it is a big deal and obviously I can speak more to the women's perspective being a former player on the team mm -hmm. and being a part of that players association. Uh, I think it's important to note that this is a player group that is very aware of the voice they have and I think they don't make statements, uh, you know, f for no reason. I think they do this with a lot of thought and a lot of care. Um, and in the past, I mean, you hear the word transparency a lot. You've heard the, the word transparency in this. I know when Amy and I played, you know, a decade ago, negotiating contracts, our player group was always asking for a bit more transparency from Canada Soccer on what were the revenues coming in, what went to the men's and women's programs, because we did want to make sure we were negotiating a fail, fair deal. Uh, I think those same questions are going on. I know the current group and the, the women that help represent them have been asking for transparency. Uh, and I know for the men as well, that's kind of led to, to bringing up the CSB deal and how all that interrelates. But I think it's the case that the, the, the leadership within Canada Soccer right now does not have the trust of the players. And I think if all these leaders were coming to the table and having really genuine conversations and bringing the information to the table, then I think we could make some real progress. Uh, I think it's important to note that the players didn't speak up in response to the TSN article by Rick Westhead, um, which had some quotes in it from people I very much respect and, and have very high values. They spoke up in response to Canada Soccer's response to the article, mm -hmm. to Canada Soccer's written statement, which I think uh, perhaps has been the trend in the past, uh, addressed the issues that were raised by kind of dismissing them, by not really suggesting that we're, there would be next steps to address some concerns. Um, and I think the players saw that, and that is what prompted this response because I think they do want to see more change from Canada Soccer. Yeah, that is that the word transparency, Amy, we've heard that. Um, and also what I'm hearing clearly that also seems to be some sort of reform, maybe just a, a change in the way things are done there. What did you take as well when you saw the player statement? Well, I, I think just to jump off what Dee was saying, that the players who are clearly invested in, in this, the middle of this CONCACAF qualifying, they didn't choose to have to make this response. They didn't choose this timing. And, but they, with the, the tone deaf nature of Canada soccer's response, to me, it was a press release, much the way they would announce a roster or a pair of friendlies. It, it, just, it seemed very out of place. And what this federation needs right now is to be progressive. And for me, they are very still archaic and caught in the same patterns that are repeating themselves over and over again to their own detriment. So our women have successfully podiumed three Olympics in a row. I think World Cup success is on the horizon. The men now qualify for the first time in 36 years. But this success is in spite of the Federation, not due to it. 
So if this federation can get it on board, get the governance in order, and maybe it's this investigation by Sport Canada that spurs something and spurs some action in to happen and spurs some sweeping change, I think that once the federation can match that, match what the players are doing on the field, I think that we will be headed in the right direction here in Canada for soccer. There is so much to be proud about and so much to be happy about when it comes to the game. We love watching the, the Canadian women, the Canadian men, what they've been able to do with the Maple Leaf on the global stage. Obviously, we hope that everything gets resolved and we want to see deals done that make both the men and women's teams happy uh, because here at One Soccer, we're committed to the game as well and bringing the action to you, the fans, the ultimate supporters of soccer in this country. And by the end of 2022, we will have brought you over 350 50 CPL matches, 50 Canadian championship games, over 30 women's and 40 men's national team contests, and yes, on the youth level, 20 youth national team matches. An unprecedented amount of games being shown on one channel in this country. One Soccer is the home of soccer in Canada.